said, do not fear those who kill the body, but are unable to kill the soul, but rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. So Jesus, being God's son, he's the one who has God's power to overcome destruction, to vanquish the forces of evil, and he's the one we can listen to and have total confidence that he knows what he's doing. Fear is a useful tool of the devil in his work of destruction. The devil knows he can't stop us. He can't do anything to destroy us. His, God's mission is going to go forward. Not a thing the devil can do about it. However, he has some tools not to destroy us, but to distract us, and fear is a, one, is, is a big one. And of course, the men were fearful, very fearful. Now, let's talk about how Jesus vanquishes the threat. He got up. That's important. The disciples had a misunderstanding of Jesus' motives. They thought he wasn't caring about them because he was asleep and they were all panicking. But he did. When they cried out to him in distress, he got up. He attended to them immediately. Obviously, he's a God of compassion. So sometimes you might doubt God's goodness, God's care. A lot of times we might complain, how come he's not answering my prayer? God got up. Jesus got up right away.